Hey, what is up everybody? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Count Dooku. I have been watching the prices on him go up and down for the last several months. I got an okay deal, paid a little more than retail, but I'm just happy to finally have him. But as you can see, it comes in the classic red and black box, you know, that we saw for so long. You can see the figure and his lightsaber with the curved hilt. And over here, you get the lightsaber blade that has sort of the in motion effect. And a nice picture of Dooku there at the bottom. The top is black. That side has the large font. That side is red. He's number 107. The bottom is the barcode and all the stuff that no one reads. And on the back, you get the same picture. You get a bio in several different languages and more stuff that no one reads. I'm going to get him open and let's take a look at him. Okay, so I got Count Dooku out of his box. And I'll tell you, that is a good looking Christopher Lee sculpt. I'm going to use his lightsaber to point with. That face is incredible. The eyes look good. The beard looks good. The mustache, the hair, everything just looks incredible on him. Even the ears have some nice little detail in them. <laughs> Got little bags under his eyes. The nose, the eyebrows. Man, that is a dead ringer for Christopher Lee. That's one of the best ones they've done. Now this cape is fixed right here. It does not come off. This is obviously glued right here, but the collar's got some nice detail there. Now his outfit, it's just dark brown. There's some little subtle details on the belt. There's a little peg or hole for his lightsaber. The pants have some really nice wrinkles and the boots are just shiny black boots. So this cape, I kind of wish it wasn't so wrinkled right out of the box. I, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that that will smooth out over time. And that's what the inside looks like. It's dark brown on the outside, light brown on the inside, but I kind of wish they would have done something with this, you know, with how they joined it together. That looks kind of goofy, but, you know, once it's on him, you really can't see it too much. I mean, it's, it's there, but, you know, what can you do? That's what the back looks like. You know, it does flow nice. It's nice and soft, but oh, let's see what the back of him looks like. Eh, just more of the same. But, yeah, I'm kind of hoping all these wrinkles go away over time. You know, but this is probably one of the best faces they've done. This just looks fantastic. And the outfit, you know, it's it's dark brown, but it totally works. I mean, that's what he was wearing in the movie. And in parts of Clone Wars, I mean, that's, that's what he wears. So let's just take a quick look at articulation on Count Dooku. So the head goes side to side. Now, one thing I did notice, this collar piece sort of moves with the head. See how that moves? And sometimes when you turn the head, yeah, see, that will turn with the head. Yeah, see that? So you kind of have to be careful. You have, you have to kind of like put your thumb here to hold it if you want that line in the center. You have to sort of hold that still and then make his, whoops, see it? Yeah, see it turned. There we go. So yeah, that, that's one thing you have to be mindful of. This part right in here can turn with the head, but that's obviously supposed to be in the center. He has some pretty decent tilt. And again, the collar sort of moves with the head. He can look down that much, and he can look up that much. The arms go out that far, and they can rotate all the way around. He has a really nice butterfly joint there at the shoulder. He has single jointed elbows that get way past 90. He has a swivel at the elbow, a swivel at the wrist. The right hand is hinged up and down, and the left hand is hinged side to side. He has a swivel at the waist. He can't crunch forward, and he can go back that far. So this front piece here, that is a soft material and it is split on the side. So the legs can get up to there. They go out that far. They go back about that far. He has a swivel at the upper thigh. He has a swivel at the knee. He has a single jointed knee that gets up to there. Feet go all the way down. They go up about that far and they can swivel at the ankle. And as far as accessories, he comes with his lightsaber with the curved hilt. That looks really nice right there. Got a little red on that switch. Got some, some detail there in the middle of the hilt. Got a little bit of gold paint there. And I think mine's pretty straight. It's not bad, and it's a nice deep red color too. I love that. So let's see how he holds this. So the fingers are super tight, and I've found that if you slide the peg, you know where it pegs into his belt there, if you slide the peg between his thumb and his index finger and the rest of his fingers, it can slide in just a little bit better. 
Yeah, so that's what he looks like holding that. And it is super tight. It is not coming out. Like I said, these fingers were practically in a fist. But you know, you can have him in his classic Dooku pose, you know, with it sort of out to the side. Or you can just have it up in front of him. And if you hinge the wrist down, you can get him to point it about that much. Yeah, but I think he looks good in all poses with this lightsaber. I mean, that is a good looking accessory. I think this is one of the better lightsabers that they've done. I mean, that really looks good. So since the hilt is in his hand, I'm going to pop this blade off and I'm going to pop this blade on. So this is another thing that it comes with. So this is the sort of lightsaber in motion kind of effect. It's supposed to resemble like he's swinging it. Here, let me turn it. That way. Well, no, I guess, I guess if you're swinging down, it's going to trail that way. So this is the blade portion and this is supposed to represent the trail. So if he's swinging down, it's supposed to look like that, I guess. I don't know. It's a cool effect, but you know, I think this is the only one that we've gotten like this. I don't know that I would ever display him with this, but you know, it's an okay idea. Uh, but that's what it looks like, like he's swinging. Yeah, let me pop the straight blade back on. Yeah, that goes back in nice, and it stayed pretty straight. And if you want to display him with just the hilt on his belt, that just pegs in there. There's a small peg on the lightsaber, and there's the hole for it right there on his belt. And that just plugs in there. And that goes in really nice. It's super tight. It is not coming out. And I think that looks good. Yeah, like he's about to reach for it. So without a doubt, Count Dooku is already one of my faves. I just cannot get over the detail on the face. I mean, this is one of the best faces that they've done. I think he's got pretty good articulation. The cape flows nicely. And, you know, I just hope this smooths out. I think the outfit looks really good, despite just being plain brown. I mean, that's what he was wearing, so it totally works. Yeah, but the boots look great. They're nice and shiny. The pants are baggy. This front piece coming down looks really good. The belt is nicely detailed, you know, for what it is. But, oh, that face. That is a dead ringer for Christopher Lee. So, yeah, now I totally get what all the hype was about over this figure. This is really, really something. So, if you like stuff like this, Please hit like and subscribe and hit that little notification bell. I would certainly appreciate it. And please let me know in the comments below, what do you think of Count Dooku? I, for one, absolutely love this. I mean, this is one of the most detailed faces they've ever done. Great looking figure, great looking lightsaber. You know, just everything about him is just so good. Yeah, they did a really nice job on this one. So thank you so much for watching. And we will just see you guys next time.